Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Topic 7 DQ1. This is our final Excel sheet DQ for the course. All right. We have done it. You have done it. Congratulations, everyone who hung in there with me. All right. We're going to be taking a look at the stock market today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to type your name in here. Okay. Math Whisper. The first letter of my first name is M. The first letter of my last name is W. A year ago was August 13, 2024. I need to look up two stocks, one that begins with W and one that begins with M. All right, so I'm going to do the M first. I click this link right here. It takes me to the stock market page, and I looked up the stock Motorola. Okay, Motorola has a stock ticker of MSI. So I typed MSI for the uh, ticker, the symbol, and I scroll down all the way. Look here on my page. Everybody, you can see I can scroll up or down, right? I'm scrolling. You can see it. I'm over here. There's the top of the page. There's today's information. I want the historic data. So I scroll down to the historic prices and I go all the way down to the bottom of this historic price. It's for one year, right? Daily for one year. And here it is. A year ago, the closing price was $412. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and find the rest of the prices while we're here. So today, all right, what day is today? Today is 08-13-2025. All right. Today, the stock price would be up at the very top of this, right? If I scroll back up here again. They don't actually have it for the 13th, do they? Because it's not closed yet today. So 812 is what I need. I need to change that date. It's 471.20. All right, 471.20, and that is the 12th. Just get as close as you can. I know you can't always get the exact date. Get as close as you can. All right. Now, uh, the next one I need is for three months ago. That would be the 5th. Right. So I'm going back to the fifth and get as close as I can, just as close as you can. I got a 513. There we go. 513. It was 41328. Is that right? It is. 51328 or 41328. 413, whoops, 413.28. Wrong price. Try that again. 413.28. There we go. Now, six months ago would put me at two. That would be February. So February. As close as I can get to the 13th, there it is. The closing price was 46605. Wow, this had some volatility. All right, nine months ago would be 11 of 24. 11, 13, it was... 496.70. All right. So this guy really had a lot of ups and downs, right? A lot of volatility going on there. Okay. Now we have all the stock prices prices for all the months. Let's go ahead and put them in here. That would be what? Uh, three months ago, we said that was what? The 5th. That would be May. This is 05, 13, 
All right. Then we did six months ago. That was February. That is 02, 13, 2025. 20, Nine months ago, we said that was 11, 13, 2024. All right. And we're good to go. All right. Now, what is the value of our stock? All right. The value of our stock is the share price times the number of shares. All right. So the number of shares times. the closing price on that day all right so a year ago the stock was worth forty one thousand two hundred dollars okay i can't calculate the gain or loss yet until i calculate my initial investment so i'm going to go up here i have the number of shares is 100 the closing price a year ago is 412 just like i had there the fees are five dollars so the formula is the same except for I have to be sure and to add in the fee at the initial purchase time, okay? So the uh, initial investment is equal to the number of shares times the share price plus the closing fee or the, uh, the fee, the purchase fee, all right? So my initial investment was $41,205. My initial value is $41,200. You can see that right now, if I do a gain or loss, that is going to be my value, right? My value minus, minus my initial investment. And you can see initially, the very first day I bought it, I was $5 behind. Why? Because of that purchase fee of $5. All right. Now, I want to copy these formulas down and just copy them because we're efficient or lazy, right? So before you do that here, you better make sure you lock this I-15 in place using the dollar symbol. Otherwise, this thing is going to move and we're going to be disappointed along the way. All right, now that I've done that, I can go in here and I can easily copy these formulas and I'm all done. You can see this has made some money along the way, okay? It's made some money right now. Today, we are way, way ahead of where we were, right? We've made a lot of money along the way for this stock. So good job on Motorola right there. All right, now, you're going to do exactly the same thing with the second stock. I'm not doing that with you guys. You can do it. The second stock is done exactly the same way. The number of shares is filled in. The, the date is filled in here. That will fill in automatically. The closing price, you guys can get that. All right, and the formulas are exactly the same. The value is the shares times the, the closing price. The gain or loss is the value minus the function you'll have right there, right? So remember back here, my formula was the value minus the initial investment. The gain or loss here is this value right here minus this initial investment. And don't forget, don't forget to lock your cell in place so it doesn't shift down, right? And I'm not doing the total investment formula here for you guys either, okay? Everybody, you know how to add those two together. You got it. I'm gonna talk about one thing down here, okay? This gain or loss is the gain or loss for both stocks, okay? For both. So what I would do right here is I would put in equals, then I'm gonna add this gain or loss. So that plus, the gain or loss that I had down here for my first stock. So I would put five there, right? Well, the cell is what I'm more concerned about, right? So you can see my cell values are O24 plus H24. And as of today, I have a minus five because I haven't yet put anything in here for my stock, for my second stock, right? My second stock was W, that's the company Wayfair. I did not put any of that information in, but the formulas are identical. I'm going to let you guys roll with that. Of course, everybody, remember, put the dollar sign. In. No, do not put the dollar sign in here because you want these both to move down, both those cells on your total gain or loss, okay? All right. 
that is it, everybody. I think you guys can handle the rest of it. Thank you very much. This is the last one. High five, everybody. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you guys in the class. Bye.